Well, howdy folks, this is John Michael. We are beginning Holy Week. This is the holiest week of the Christian liturgical calendar. And in the West, we celebrate it this year. In the Christian East, they sell it a, pre a few weeks later. So Holy Week, we begin with Palm Passion Sunday. We begin with the procession of palm branches and the reading about how they worship or they welcome Jesus into Jerusalem saying Hosanna, which means save us now. And then we also read the Passion because at the end of Holy Week, by Good Friday, they're crying out, crucify him. And the challenge here is, do we welcome Jesus into our life and then turn around and say, crucify him? Uh, the book of Hebrews says, we crucify him afresh when we willfully, knowingly commit sin. So, and we're talking about the, you know, major sin, what in the West we call mortal sin. You know, there, there are sins in a relationship between a husband and wife, little ones that kind of you let slide, but if they build up, they can turn into big things that can kill a relationship, like unfaithfulness. So when we commit willful sin, we know it's sin, the Holy Spirit's told us it's sin, the Holy Spirit has empowered us to overcome it, and we still choose to do it, at that point, our relationship with Jesus dies. Now you can always repent and come back and reestablish it, but at that point your relationship with Christ is dead in the water. So the question we have to ask ourselves is do we say welcome him on the surface, save us now, Hosanna, only to turn around later, a few hours, a few days, a few weeks, and say crucify him by sinning willfully even when we have that power of the Holy Spirit in our life to overcome sin. Now if you've done that, don't despair. Because if you have that desire to repent, that's also the work of the Holy Spirit. So come back. He will forgive you. But don't ever use forgiveness as presumption to commit sin. Okay, so that's the beginning of Holy Week. And it starts off with the beginning, Palm Sunday, and we go right to Good Friday, Passion. Let's make this journey solemnly, appreciatively, and let it change our life. That's my prayer for you guys. I love you so much. All things are possible with God.